tudo bem com vocês? Tudo bem com você? Eu estou muito bem hoje! If you're wondering, are you wearing the same sweater that you wore in your last video? Yes. That's because I'm filming this on the same day and I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not gonna change. Like, I'm lazy. I just don't want to wear in quarantine. I don't really care. This is my sweatshirt that I wear all the time. Hoje a gente vai assistir uma novo filme brasileiro. Uma filme bem famoso. Sério, gente? I have watched part one and so many people told me I should watch part two. So, uh, I... I am curious. If you have not seen my part one, Tropa de Elite part one react, it's somewhere in the screen. There's a playlist that I made for you guys. You can see all the movies that I have watched in my reaction on it. So it's somewhere in the screen right now. After a brutal boppy riot on the high security penetrary Bangu One, Colonel Roberto Nascimento and the second commander, Captain Andre Machias are accused by Diog Fraga, cover from the Human Rights AIDS team. Oh my God! Of execution of prisoners. <gasps> Machias is transferred to the corrupt military police and Nascimento is acquitted of the boppy by the governor. But what? Given the increased popularity of Nascimento, the governor invites him to cooperate with the intelligence area of the Minister of Security. Over the years, Fraga, who was married to the former wife, oh, he's, ma he's married to his former wife? Former wife of Nascimento has been elected state representative. Rafael, Nascimento's son, has problems with his biological father. This movie is gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a mess, y'all. It's gonna be a mess. Então, gente, vai assistir esse filme. Tô muito curiosa, tô muito empolgada. Normally, I watch these videos at night, but I just am too curious. Like, it's daylight. It is 1 p.m. right now, and I'm gonna watch this movie. I'm so excited. I'm gonna grab some snacks. I'm gonna grab some tea. I'm in my comfortable sweater. Então, gente, I will come back to you guys with my thoughts after the movie. Quem é o informante? Quem é o X9? Who is it? Você vai fazer o seguinte. Você vai me ligar até mais tarde, vai me passar o nome e o pra hoje. They just wanted to have the dealers killed. They did not even. <gasps> oh my god! No! Oh my god! Eu entrei na casa. Você não vai acreditar. Eu achei o comitê de campanha do governador. Cheio de foto do governador com Fortunato com Guaraci. Você tem que sair daqui. Você tá sozinha? Não. Fuck! Yeah. Tá falando com quem, Piranha, no telefone? O que, que aconteceu? Os milicianos pegaram a Clara. Tem pelo menos 20 anos de cadeia aqui pra gente. Ah, é? Tá x Então o que? Tá com medinho? Tá, tá com medinho, filha da puta? Tá com Voltou. Gente, I just watched Tropa de Elite Part 2. And oh my god, like normally I have an opinion, but this movie has struck me in the heart. Like, oh my god. So um let's just have a little overview about the movie. The movie begins very heavy. Like they are showing what happened in Bangu 1 and why kind of like why Machias got into his cell and Nascimento was acquitted and like how the whole mess kind of started. And there is literally too much to talk about in this movie because like it starts with a mess and it gets like a bigger mess and then the mess like bigger it's like a snowball going down a fucking mountain you guys it is a mess literally it is a mess and i had so many different opinions about um the people in this movie i like i did not know 
like who I, like what side do you want to take, you know? Because again, I don't live there, I don't live in Brazil, I don't feel like I'm the right person to talk about um, these kinds of stuff. We're not gonna talk about my opinion, I'm just gonna talk about the movie. I feel like this is another sensitive topic. If I was Brazilian, maybe then I would have been able to give an opinion because then I have to live there. Like I'm able to vote on people, I'm able to say my opinion, but I don't live there. Like for me, it's feels wrong to tell you guys what's going on in your country when I don't even live there and um, yes some people told me like oh you, you like Brazil but you don't even know what's going on like girl like I know I see things but I want to this I want this channel to be focused on the beautiful things about your culture and why Brazil is beautiful and the people who live there are nice and the food and the culture and everything the music why it is such an awesome country you know, so um, I have shot some video clips during the movie of my, my reaction and you guys saw my, my reaction when Machias was shot. Honestly, that was I think one of the heaviest moments in the movie because that just came falling out of the blue. Like Machias knew, Machias knew something was up because the, the weapons that they found on the bodies of the dealers were not the weapons that they looked for. And Nascimento knows, like he comes in the, in the meeting room, like don't do this because we don't know if those are the weapons that are there, like we don't know anything for sure, but obviously like Guaraci and his and Fabio, they like rule that side of the favela, like it is <laughs> Right after the attack took place, you can see like they were in an alley and Machias told him like you have one moment to tell me who your informant is, like who is it? Tell me your informant. Like he does, Guarasi does not tell him the informant and neither does Fabio but um, Machias made sure by the end of this day, I want to know who your informant was because this whole stuff, it smells like there's something not good here. The moment he turns around, you can see Guarasi raising his weapon and shooting him in the back. Like, why in the back though? Like, are you serious? Like, I was mad, you guys. I was like, what? I get mad about this movie. In the beginning, what happened in Bangu One was very controversial. Like the guy said, I do not want another Karandiru. And it kind of happened because they just shoot the prisoners like this. Like then Machias died and then Nascimento was like, this whole thing that you guys are doing does not make any sense. So you can see Nascimento is uh, more involved with politicians in this movie. He is less boppy, he's still boppy, but he's less boppy. He's more into the politicians. He's gonna fight them another way. And what really struck me is the way that politicians are treated in this movie. They are like treated like celebrities and like stars and like that's so weird to me. The moment comes where this journalist girl, her name is Clara, she finds out that probably the armors are from the police because we know what I see and Fabio are corrupt cops. So she finds this apartment with all these boxes about like with uh, banners and stuff like all proof that they are involved in this. But of course they found out that they are there and Clara has never been found. Like there's a shot of one of the dealers picking out teeth from the skull because teeth will help you identify um, and he's taking them out and she's burned or at least I don't know if that's her or her friend like I don't know but like it is such a horrible sight because she she was a journalist like she was not into this but she went to like she was dedicated to her job and she was killed I don't know if this movie represents um, the politics today in Brazil I don't know I I'm not like I don't here in Holland we don't have a lot of Brazilian politician news. Sometimes Bolsonaro is in the news here, but other than that, we don't really have a lot of Brazilian news here. Now we have because you guys are a lot in the news um because of Corona, um, which I'm so sorry. I've, I cannot imagine 
be there and now I'm so sorry. So let's look at the production of this movie. For me, it was a 10 out of 10. Wagner Mora, he has to be my favorite Brazilian actor. I swear to God, I started wa watching Narcos because of him. Because he is just... Oh my God, like I love him. I want to do a video with him. I want to talk to him. If anyone can like talk to me about Wagner Mora, please. I want to meet him. I want to talk to him. I want to do a video with him. Tell me I want to do a video. <laughs> this production was really amazing. Everyone was such a good actor. Like they were all so good at their part and it was a really, really good movie. Like the production of this movie was very well. I really liked um, watching it like beside the fact that it was a very heavy movie because it is like this movie was there was still a point like I enjoyed watching the movie like I said I enjoyed watching because the production was really good I was really focused on the movie and they made me like they kept me focused on the movie the whole time which sometimes does not happen I my focus is usually everywhere and now I was focused on the movie and I was like I, I enjoyed watching the movie and there were some shocking uh, for me, the most shocking was the death of Machias. Nascimento, like, finding out that everyone had to do with it. And also the death of Clara, the journalist girl. Like, that was heavy. In the beginning as well, the Bungle one, when it all, like, pfft, exploded, was very, very heavy to see. Which one do you guys prefer? I think I have to go for part two. Part two um, is a little bit more political, maybe a little bit more difficult, but... Um, for me was, 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 yeah, I liked. Like, I cannot really weigh the two of them because one is really about the boppy and this one is more about politics and maybe a little bit more difficult. Então, gente, muito obrigada. Let me know in the comments down below if you recommend part one or part two. I'm gonna go for part two. Amo vocês demais pra sempre. Seguir meu Instagram, inscrever no meu canal, por favor. Tem muitos vídeos sobre filmes brasileiros. Amo vocês demais e até o próximo.